Is it possible we can't see God working because we're too busy getting the world's beauty treatments? Is it possible that we can't see what God's doing? Because we're too busy getting our hearts ready for what the world wants. And we actually, the deception in our culture, especially from a Christian perspective, is that we actually assume that what we're doing is what God would want, and it's re- the reality is what the world wants. There's good news. God's power is revealed through imperfect people all throughout history. I don't know about you, but I'm not perfect. Anybody, uh, anybody glad that God works through imperfect people? God uses Esther despite her flaws. Esther and Mordecai aren't superheroes. They're not going unflawed. They're full of flaws. But what ends up happening when you look at books of Esther and even David and and, and, and we hear the situation of David, often we we ignore the problem areas and, and often you'll see this in Sunday school, we only highlight the positives because we get ticked off because we think often, this is called kind of like what Christians often think, or people who think about Christianity, is that God blesses those who are good and punishes those who are bad, and that's not what we see in Scripture. What we see is God often blesses people who are undeserving, and you and I would be in that boat, and we also see people who are blessed who are completely ungodly. We see then King Xerxes. We see that in, in various other people in Scripture. Now, God uses those people for a reason. But the Bible isn't about good people getting it right. It's about God getting it right. Because if we are always looking at Scripture and sitting there going, oh, well, I'm just going to be an Esther. Well, what happens when you're not Esther? What happens when you you screw things up and you mess things up? You get crushed. Whether you actually look at her as an example and then do it, and then you go, hey, I accomplished it, and then pride can get in. The Bible isn't about good people getting it right. It's about God getting it right. 